Hello and welcome to our gentle session today. Working with a TheraBand or belt or towel or anything to use for stretching and a cushion, please. All right, first things first, let's find our alignment. Let's get you moving, let's get you grooving and warm. Finding your form, feet, knees, hips are all in a straight line with soft knees. Take this moment, connect into your center, relax your arms down. We turn our head to the side, keeping your shoulders still and you're giving me gentle half circles side to side. As you move, you want to make sure these shoulders don't shrug. You want to keep your belly tight and just working slowly and smoothly. We're using this to break down any tension buildup in our neck. Giving me one more each way. And bringing your eyes to center, shoulder rolls for five and four and three. Breathe two and one other way for five and four and three. Breathe two. We're going to tuck up your knees, stay bent tight in your belly and into your spinal roll. Stopping the second you feel any strain or tightness in the back. Take a deep breath as you slowly roll it up. Stacking your spine, shoulders pull back, chin comes up, inhale, exhale, tuck to roll. Listening to your lumbar spine, making sure there's no strain as you move. And slowly coming up for one more deep breath, exhale, tuck into roll. And let's stay hanging down in this position, let your head hang. We bend in our knees, exhale, stretch, inhale, bend, exhale, stretch, inhale for three, and stretch, breathe, four, and stretch, inhale, five, and stretch, breathe, six, and seven, one more, breathe for eight, soften your knees, zip in core, take your time rolling up. Open your arms to face me and give me that side work. Inhale to center, breathe out, side bend. Inhale, come back, beautiful side. Inhale, center, breathe out, side. And reaching this arm, enjoy the stretch for three. Hold two, hold one and back. Reach over, hold three. Hold two, hold one, come back, interlace hands behind you, give me that deep stretch in your shoulders, in your chest, and two breaths, inhale, fill your lungs, exhale, connect into your ribs and belly, one more deep breath in, fill your lungs, exhale, ribs and belly, relax your arms, take a nice big step out, feet and knees turn out, palms stay forward, and breathe out as we open up these inner thighs. Inhale, come back. Now I want you to be cautious. Don't let that knee roll forward. Pull that weight back. Inhale, come back. Stay in a range that feels comfy for your knee. I don't want pressure on that kneecap. We just want to open up our flexors. Get rid of that sitting tension that we all build up. Get our knees working. Our thighs working, get you warm so that we can strengthen you today. Two more every time you move, that belly tightens up. Exhale, lower. Shall we hold it on one and stay here? Gentle pulse. And two, breathe three and four. Breathe five and six. Breathe for seven. Exhale, eight and nine. One more, breathe ten. Lovely, other side. Pass it up for 10 and 9. Breathe 8 and 7. Deep breath 6 and 5. Breathe out 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. Come back. Walk your feet back and let's grab hold of those bands, belts, towels, whatever it is that you're using. I would love you to fold it in half and I want to see a bit of tension in that band so that you give me the shoulders activated. I want you to stand hip distance apart. I'm going to turn to the side purely for you to see the form, but you can stay facing forward to me. I want you to be conscious here that as you move, you don't let that body sink into that lower spine. So you want to connect your ribs and belly, tuck your tailbones down. 
I want your knees staying straight. And those of you who have that posture where the head wants to tuck down or pop forward, be mindful of that and keep that proud line. Center chin, shoulders stay back. We're going to take a deep breath and as you exhale, we're rising up onto your toes, gliding your hands, shoulder height and hold. Inhale, gently come back down. As you lift, I want you to imagine a zip from your pubic bone right up to your ribs so you connect that center. Inhale, lower down. You want to keep growing tall in the body, lifting up to the roof and come down now watching the shoulders I don't want to see the shoulders shrugging up to your ears or collapsing forward so keep that connection inhale come down making sure those knees are staying straight as you move you want to squeeze your calves your hamstrings your bum the full leg is working for five more every time tightening that belly inhale low I'm turning to face you Four more, we lift up tall. Inhale, come down, getting your ankles nice and strong. Breathe out for three. Inhale, come down, and every time just getting more stable and strong, breathe two. Now see if you can stay up on the top with me. Breathe out and hold you up for five. Grow tall, hold four, check your chin, neck and shoulders, three. Breathing two, deep breath one, beautiful, come down. Yes, amazing. Now I know you are warm. Bring those feet and knees together. I would love you to turn your palms to face forward. Now watch here with that line that your shoulders don't roll forward. I want to see the collarbones open. Depending on your resistance here, if it's too much, you can open up that band or towel, whatever you are using to make it a lighter grip. Up to you. From here, we're going to glide that right foot to the side. And at the same time, open your hands out just slightly to get that activation in your shoulders and shoulder blades. I do not want this side working, those necks, all the traps activating. So be cautious. Inhale, come back. For now, toes are staying on the ground. Breathe out, you want to squeeze your thighs, your bum, your belly, get the shoulder blades working. Inhale, come back. Alignment is really important for me, so I don't want to see those hips sinking, those bodies tilting, master that center. Inhale, come back, four. Breathe out, we're getting our posture muscles to activate while we trigger the core and the legs. And inhale, knees are staying straight. Breathe out, that standing leg is the working leg. It's going to zone wherever those tighter or weaker stabilizing muscles are. Breathe, three. Inhale, come back. Exhale, glide for two. Inhale, come back. Now I offer a challenge on one. If that's feeling a burn, stay there. If you want to challenge your balance, lift that foot and hold five squeeze your bum hold four lift up out of those hips hold three check your chin neck and shoulders hold two deep breath for one excellent and hello standing leg wherever you are feeling it that is your zone and every week i'm hoping that stability strength is improving all right let's see what this side's doing same arms Breathe out, I want the toes on the ground so that you can really master that alignment, that placement of the shoulders, chin, hips. Inhale, come down. Watch your toes and knees stay forward, so don't let that turnout happen. Do you see how it changes my hip line? And come back in. Every rep, we're growing tall in that body. And back to center. Four, breathe out, lift. Inhale, come back. Beautiful. Breathe out for five. Grow into. Inhale, come back. Six. Exhale, lift. And come back. Center. Seven. Exhale, lift. And come back. One more. Your options to stay with toes down. 
if you challenge yourself, hover your foot for five. Hold four like a statue. Three. Breathe two. Exhale one. And shake it out. Amazing. Feet and knees are at distance. Palms are going to stay forward. Keep those collarbones open. And from here, you're going to resist against your legs as you glide your hands behind you. Inhale, come back, showing you from the side. We gliding back. I want you to feel your shoulder blades and the triceps, your back of the arms. Inhale, center. Three, breathe out to glide, not letting that chin tuck. Watching your ribs don't pop out. Four, breathe out, glide. And this is the strength. We need to avoid that round shoulder look from happening. Exhale, let's do five more. And in. Breathe out for four, constantly checking that neck is not tensing up. Inhale, breathe out for three, and center. Exhale, glide two, and center last time. Breathe one, and hold it here. Those shoulder blades are connecting. Tiny moves, let's go. Add a pant, two, and three. Breathe four. Exhale, five and six. Breathe, seven. Breathe, eight and nine. One more. Breathe, ten and relax. If you feel you could actually do another set of that, press stop, rewind and repeat. All those muscles are really needed to avoid us, to keep us strong when we're working on those laptops, working on the phones. None of that and all about that. Yes, please. All right, our last standing exercise. Staying on your side for me this time. Knees and ankles are together, but knees are staying bent. Fold that band in half. Again, giving me that tension so your shoulder blades connect. I want you to lift onto the tip of your toes of the back foot. From here, we're moving into a forward tilt. I want you to slide that leg back and focus on the power in this front thigh. Bum. Hamstring, my core is connected, protecting my back. Check those shoulders haven't collapsed forward. There's beautiful length in the neck and spine. Now slowly gliding it all the way upright in between. Again, breathe out. You want to feel that power in your underneath leg, your standing leg, thigh, bum, hamstring, belly's tight. And slowly coming back. If you feel like a challenge, you can keep that back foot up in the air so you really work in your balancing. The ankle, the knee, the hip. And slowly come back. Four. Breathe out. The option is yours. So I'm trusting you to listen to the body. Make sure these knees are not way over the toes. Do you see how my body weight is pulled back? And slowly come back. Four more. Breathe out. Make sure your belly is tight. I don't want to see those lower backs taking strain. And inhale. Three more. Breathe out. You should be feeling your standing leg. We are strengthening your feet, your ankles, your knees and hips. All those primary areas we want and need strong. Breathe out for two. Yes, inhale, come back, last time. Breathe out, if you've reached your maximum, you need to stop. Stop, if you can join me, just hold for five. Hold four, check that standing legs, powered up, three. Breathe, two, deep breath, one, slowly back and start, mean work, other side. Lifting that front heel up. Bend your knees and let's see those eight reps. Your primary goal is to keep your knees still, those ankles still, that belly tight. Slowly join it to center, deep breath. Exhale as we forward tilt. Beautiful, deep breath. And coming back, make sure there's not pressure on that kneecap. You pulling your hips back, that body weight's back off that knee in front. And slowly back, deep breath. 
एक सवर में भी वी वन इन द चैलेंज योर फुट इज अप इन द एयर फॉर द सेट टोटली अप टू यू एंड ड्रॉइंग अ बैक डीप ब्रेथ exhale checking your belly is on tight supporting your spine as you tilt and let's come back three breathe out watching your chin doesn't pop forward doesn't tuck the shoulders don't lift and last two we are there deep breath exhale as you tilt forward now if you need a rest after this last one do that listen to your body If you can join me in the hold, stay there for five. Hold four. Hold three and two. Three, four, one. Beautiful. And on to the mat we go. Very nice. If you need that cushioning under your knees, just grab hold of that. Place it underneath you, and let's see what is your spine looking like. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Take that moment to lengthen neck and spine. Give me that tilt of pubic bone to belly. Glide your shoulders away from ears. We take our deep breath out as we curl into our shoulders, into our spine. Inhale very gently, releasing through your vertebra, opening your collarbones to the front. Again, as you do your cat and cow move, you want to be cautious with your elbows here. Often we want to bend and stretch them. I want you to keep them still for the set. A lot of us want to collapse into our neck, into our lower back as we arch. But I need that core activated always. So really working gently. This is the position that you don't want to sink into your spine or into your neck. One more. Breathe out as we curl and hold here. Push your mat away as you hold two deep breaths. Feel your stretch in your shoulder blades. One more deep breath, and come down as you bring toes together. Open your knees, sit your bum on your heels, and reach these hands forward for five lovely breaths. Holding four on each breath, keep stretching. Hold three. Deep breath, two. Breathe for one. Walk your hands to one side as you zone the side of the body and hold three. Holding two. Holding one. Amazing. Other side. Let's hold for three. Holding two. Holding one. As you come back to center, take your time. Slowly rolling your spine up, and let's get you into a seated position, please. If you need a bit of release for your lower back, your hips, feel free to sit on top of that cushion if it's more comfy for you. I want you to fold your band in half. I would like your legs extended forward, and try your best to sit up as tall as possible. I know that that's going to get better and better every week. Take a deep breath, and on the exhale. Trigger your core for your forward bend. If you can, reach your bands over your feet and hold that stretch. Two breaths, and every week you want to feel that flexibility improving, being able to go a little bit deeper. We slowly stack your spine up. From here, you're going to curl your back for one. Zip your belly. Watch your chin and shoulders don't tuck. We curl back for two. Watch for this. Can you curl back on three? Hold it here for me. Take a deep, strong breath in. Power from your transverse abdominis and slowly lift up tall. Lovely. Up and forward. Can you get your band over feet and two breaths in your stretch? Yes. One more deep breath in. Lift up beautifully tall. That corset strength, I like to call it. Curl a vertebra down. One, zip your belly. Curl for two. Check your chins. Check your shoulders. Can you go one more on three? Anchor your core. Take a deep, strong breath in. Power in your transverse muscles. Lifting up. Yes. 
Two more, every rep going a little deeper in your stretch. And stack in your spine as you lift up tall. Curl back for one. Curl back for two. If you keep going to three, let's go there. Hold it here. Take a deep, strong core breath. Our final rep, lifting up and forward and stretch it out. So lovely. Calves, hamstrings, backs. And let's lift up tall. Curl down for one. Hold. Curl down for two. If your lower back feels like you can stay here, join me for five deep breaths in that core position. Holding four. Holding three. Breathing for two. Hello, abs. And breathe one. Slowly coming back. Drop your band. Bring your feet together. Lift up in your spine. And moving forward into that tilt, stretching up those hips, those hip flexors. And give me another two deep breaths. So good. And one. Remember that when those hip flexors are tight, it's really hard to engage the core to its maximum. So that's why it's so important to give those hip flexors, these areas here, a good release, especially if you feel like they're doing most of the work. Okay, I'm going to give you a choice for our next set. Now, those of you who are still absolutely beginner to Pilates, stay on this set. If you are recovering from severe back injury or you want the very gentle option, you're going to be holding your legs and you're just going to be staying in that core activation for 10 slow breaths where the lower back feels safe, but the core feels challenged. If you feel you can progress today and you want to add a little bit of an oblique set, you're going to grab a hold of your band. We're in that same curl, but we're going to add in a nice row side to side. And as you do that, you're not letting your feet, knees, or hips move. All right, peeps, are you going to join me? Whichever form feels good for you, shoulders stay down. I'm going to demo on the harder option. And all together, we inhale. Exhale and inhale. Breathe out and both sets. I don't want you letting go of those bellies, zip into spine. Staying cautious of that chin wanting to tuck, the shoulders wanting to tense. Inhale, exhale, five more deep breath. Exhale, six. Inhale, breathe out, seven. Inhale, exhale, eight. Inhale, breathe out, nine, last time, inhale, exhale, ten, and relax. Hello, strong cause. Amazing. Taking your moment to get comfy on your mat. Pull your knees deep into your chest and back into those hips. Let's give them some opening as you circle around five. Letting your back to its tilt in and out of the mat. Four. Beautiful. Breathe. Three. Exhale for two. Deep breath for one. Shall we reverse it? Let's go. One. Breathe out for two. Lovely stuff. Deep breath. Three. Exhale for four. One more for five. Squeeze the knees deep into you. Do a little rock side to side as you massage your lower back onto the floor. Good. And from here, open your feet and knees hip distance apart. I want you to grab hold of that cushion. Place it in between your knees. I love using that to help with alignment. And bring your awareness onto your feet. Make sure they are never rolling or tilting in or out. Today, if you want the gentle option and back support, hands stay down in the low V. If you feel you can lift your hands up with palms facing each other, please do as long as your lower back feels fine. We take a deep breath. I want you all to squeeze your cushion. Imprint your lower spine. Zip that belly as you lift up into that core position, stopping the second you feel any lower back. Take a lovely deep core breath in and melt down one vertebra at a time. 
only releasing that cushion as you reach neutral. Let's go again. We squeeze, imprint, power up your buns, your hamstrings, your thighs, your inner thighs are working. Take a deep breath. We're using this lower down to massage the spine. On every rep, feel that back improve with mobility. Three, breathe out, squeeze. You want to bring awareness into your alignment. So always look at your hips. You want to make sure you are not tilting. That alignment is key and that's where those transverse muscles kick in. As you lower, not letting those shoulders shrug. Keeping them pinned down into the mat. Three more deep breath. Squeeze that cushion, imprint, lifting up, keeping those shoulder blades connecting down. And let's slowly articulate down for our last two deep breath. Imprint, squeeze as we lift up and hold. Brilliant. And slowly curling down for your last one. Stay where that lower back feels secure. Squeezing to lift. And from here, don't let that bum move. Joey's coming to check out my form. And from here, squeeze that cushion for 10. Release. Squeeze. Nine. Work those inner thighs. Eight. Release, breathe, seven, release, breathe out, six, don't let go of that bum and belly, five, release, exhale, four, release, breathe out, three, inhale, exhale, two, and last time, hold that squeeze on one, that bum lowers slightly, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, should be feeling some work. Inhale, three. If it's getting too much, you can stop at any point. Squeeze, five, and squeeze. Breathe, six, and squeeze. Inhale, seven, and squeeze. Inhale, eight, and squeeze. Two more. Breathe, nine, and one more. Breathe, ten, and hold it here. Check your hips. Check your feet. Lower your arms if they were up. And gently curl down one vertebra at a time. Remove your cushion. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. And hello, inner thighs, hamstrings, bum, core. I love that work. It's one of our best core exercises because we're strengthening on the lift up and we work in flexibility and mobility on the way down. Dual benefit. Thank you very much. All right. Have a look at your next set and with your options, zone in those hamstrings. I want everyone's arms down in their low V. You're going to lift your one leg into a dead bug position. Be cautious here that that foot doesn't droop, that that knee doesn't pull back. You want to be really strict with placement. From here, I'm going to give you two choices. You're going to imprint and just tilt your tailbone. For those of you who want the gentler option, watching your shoulders don't pull forward. And then slowly curl down. If you feel you can challenge yourself a bit more, you're going to imprint, squeeze, and try to lift the hips up without letting your hips tilt, without letting your back strain, and slowly come down. Please listen to what's right for your body. All together, six reps. Imprint, squeeze, and tilt or lift. I'm going to demo through both options. All of us slowly coming down, watching the form on this leg as you lower. Again, breathe out, imprint, squeeze, feel that bum, feel that hamstring on your standing leg. Your hips are centered and slowly lower, four more. Breathe out, imprint, squeeze. I'm going to demo the lift here. Checking your hips are not tilting. Slowly curl down. A lot of us compensate in the shoulders. So on the next rep, be mindful of your shoulders staying pinned back. You're not letting that jaw, that neck, that shoulder tighten or clench. Five, breathe out, imprint, squeeze. Keep checking that you are not tilting. And slowly coming down for last one. This is it. Stay up at your top and option A to hold. If you want to go a little deeper, add a little pulse. 
up to you. Breathe two. Don't let those pelvis tilt. And four. Exhale, five. Breathe, six. Exhale, seven. Breathe for eight. Exhale, nine. And one more, ten. And hello, bun. Hamstring, core. Good. Joey's giving me the look like he's not very impressed, but I hope you guys are impressed with your form. Keep going, guys. Other side. Same form, please. So first things first, check your dead bug leg, foot, knee, and hips in line. Palms facing up. Your option A, the tilt. Option B, lift. Let's squeeze it up. Slowly curl down as you lower. Imprint through the body. Again, you want to actively touch every vertebra into the ground. So we get in that rush of blood flow over the whole spine. Three, I also love you to take note which side is feeling stronger in this. We generally have a more dominant glute or hamstring on the one side. Four, breathe out. Always be really strict with your placement of your hips, not a line that tilts. As you lower, watching those shoulders. Five, breathe out as we imprint into squeeze. And on six, remember we stay there. Breathe out as we lift. Your option A was to just hold. If you can pulse, let's go. Ten. And nine, if that lower back is straining, please stay holding. And five. Breathe out. Six. Exhale. Seven. Deep breath. Eight. Exhale. Nine. And one more. Ten. Gently come down. Start. Ning. Give yourself a round of applause. Hardcore. Stretch your one leg along. Hug your other knee into the body. And let's see what this it does. Circling around for five. And four. We're getting deep into that hip socket. Three. Just bringing that rush of blood flow. Two. Oiling it up. And one other way. Let's circle five. Excellent. Four. Breathe for three. Exhale for two. Pull that knee in on one and just melt into the floor. Two beautiful breaths. One more deep breath. And lengthen that leg out. Let's see this other side. Hug your knee into the body and circle around. Five. Loosening up hip four. Breathe three. Good. Deep breath. Two. Breathe in one other way, circle five, and breathe four, and three, breathe for two, and for one, hug your knee, two deep breaths, one more deep breath in, and pull both legs into your chest, and just rest in this lower back, stretch for three breaths. For two deep breaths. For one deep breath. And landing your feet down. All right, guys. From here, we're going to bring our feet and knees together. I want you to open your arms to T-line. Connect your shoulder blades. If your feet don't cramp and you can lift your heels up, go there. And let's squeeze our thighs together as you gently lower knees one way you look opposite. Always using your core to come back. Don't use your lower spine. Breathe out to lower. Hold. And come back. Other way. Breathe out lower. Inhale to center. Very nice. Exhale to lower. And come back. I'm going to give you a choice here. Option A, you're going to stay in the stretch. Option B, if you can go deeper, scoop your leg. Take that hand and gently press down and give me three breaths. And breathe two. Deep breath for one. Beautiful legs together. Connect your core up and over. Remember option A. Option B. Listen to your body and three breaths. Holding two. 
breathing for one very nice bring your legs together and let's zone these transverse muscles these lower abs i want you to please place your cushion underneath your head for a little bit of neck support you're going to grab a hold of your bands or towels or belts and i want you to find what we call dead bug position so don't let those feet droop don't let those knees pull back just like in that leg that bum series we did i want you to place your band or belt whatever you're using on top of your shins now take this moment to find your neutral spine we take a deep breath and on the exhale you're going to lower your hands and your lower spine into the floor and feel that belly zip to your back inhale release have a quick look i don't want you to pull your knees back your legs are staying still and the movement is in the lower back inhale release let's go breathe out to lower if this is feeling a little bit strenuous on the lower back you can slide forward and rest your feet on a wall or on a chair so that you have support inhale come back and prioritize that movement of the lower back into flat into imprint and in neutral watching those shoulders don't tense forward tighten ribs belly transverse inhale release let's do five more imprint inhale release good breathe out for four and release exhale for three inhale release very nice breathe out for two and last time hold it yeah if you've reached your maximum and you tired rest if you can join me pant and pass those arms back stay still in flat and five more and four and three and two and one relax very nice i want you to turn your bodies onto your side i want you to take your back place it over your foot Keep that cushion in place. Rest in your neck comfortably. Stack your hips. Scoop your underneath leg into a clam position, and anchor your theraband hand on that hip. So don't let this arm move. Glue it down. And I want you to take your moment to connect your shoulder blades and get into that core lift. So your bottom rib and belly is lifted off the mat. So core is at work straight away. From here, we're going to squeeze that bum. Work with the resistance of your belt or band. Inhale, come down. And I'm hoping every time we come into an abduction set, you are in the habit of activating that core as you lift. You're not letting that body collapse into the floor. Keep in your gap. Inhale, lower. Keeping your shoulder blades connected like this, you are strengthening those posture muscles. Let's go five more and down. Exhale four and down. Breathe out three. Inhale lower. Exhale two and last time. Breathe out one. And from here, keeping those hips still, you're gonna circle around. One, squeezing that bum, and two, not letting your upper body rock forward or back. Three, keep it in a range that feels good for you. Four, like a challenge, but say five. Squeezing bum, six. Exhale for seven. One more for eight. Let's reverse it for one. Breathe out for two. Exhale for three. Good. Deep breath out four. Exhale for five. Breathe out for six. Breathe out for seven. If you are tired, that bum has reached its maximum rest. If you want to progress today, add a little pulse. Ten. Listening to your body. Nine. Eight short breaths and six. Breathe five and four and three and two and one. Relax. Hello, bum. Hello, outer thigh. Let's get those legs balanced as you place your band on your underneath leg for me. You're gonna take that top leg and place it on top, 
Anchor your hand once again on that hip. Lift your bellies and ribs. Toes and kneecaps are facing forward. And from here, you stretch that leg up to the ceiling. Feel your inner thigh. Inhale, come down. Always applying your core. Ribs, belly transfers, activate as you lift. Making sure your jaw, your neck, your shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, lower. Breathe out to lift up. Inhale, come down. Very nice. Exhale, lift. Inhale, last three. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, last two. Breathe out to lift. Inhale, last one. Now hold it at the top. Give me a circle around. One, feel that inner thigh. Two, don't let those hips move. Three, breathe out for four. Exhale in five. Breathe out for six. Exhale for seven. And one to go eight. Other way for one. Breathe out two. Exhale for three. Breathe in out four. Exhale for five. Breathe out for six. Exhale for seven. If that leg's on fire, it's reach its maximum. Relax. If you want a challenge, add that pulse. Check your knee hasn't bent two tiny moves. And four, going deep into that inner thigh strength. Three more. And two. And one. Three. Relax. Start. Then hello power in those legs. Resting them in front. Reach your fingertips forward. Today we're going to lift the arm above our head. Open up your chest and stretch to the other side. Inhaling as we draw it back. Again, breathe out, getting rid of our phone, computer tension, and getting these shoulders beautifully placed. Breathe out for three. And inhale, come back. One more, breathe in our four and hold it here for three. Holding two, holding one, come back to center and let's get psyched up. Let's get excited at the side. Let's move it onto the side. Underneath leg scoops into your clam, top leg on the belt or the band. And I want you to get into that core position. Lift your ribs, lift your bellies. I want your hip bones stacked and glue that hand down, shoulders connect. We breathe out to lift. Inhale, come down. Remember, don't let that hand move. Exhale, two. Inhale, come down. Beautiful. Breathe, three. Inhale, two, lower. Exhale, lift, four. Inhale, come down. Exhale, lifting five. And lower down. Breathe out for six. Not letting that gap go between the body and floor. Seven. Constantly checking jaw, neck and shoulders are relaxed. And nine. Breathe out, squeeze. And last one. Are we ready for those loops? Challenging stability. So not letting your hips tilt. Not letting those shoulders tilt. Keeping the center of your body anchored. Breathe out four. Exhale for five. Breathe out for six. Exhale for seven. Breathe out for eight. Reverse out of the way. One. Exhale for two. Keep zipping that belly in. Three. Deep breath out four. Exhaling five. Breathe out for six. Exhale for seven. If you need to rest, go for it. If you pulsed with me, let's go deep. And two short breath. Three and four. Exhale five and six and seven. Breathe eight and nine. One more. Breathe ten and eight. Duck the time. Beautiful. Underneath leg into that band. Whoops. We're going to place that leg on top. Anchor in your hand. And from here, let's go left. I hope your transition was a little bit smoother than mine. <laughs> Exhale, two. Inhale, feel that inner thigh. 
So always remembering with adductor, inner thigh work, the cheat will be that knee wanting to bend, you too strong and body aware to let that happen. You want to keep your hips stacked, not letting that pelvis tilt back. You want to keep lifting your bellies and ribs off that mat. So I'm no core is strong. Keeping jaw, neck, and shoulders out of this exercise. They relax. Lift. And two. Breathe out. Two. Lift. And for one. Staying at the top. Eight circles. One. Getting those internal. It's nice and strong. So important for our hips and knees. Breathe out. Five. Exhale, six, breathe for seven, and one more, eight, reversing, one. Deep breath, two, exhale, three, breathe out for four, exhale, five, and six. Breathe seven, if you reach your maximum rest, if you pulse, let's go, one, and two, breathe, three, exhale, four, deep breath, five, and six, and seven, deep breath, eight. And nine, one more, breathe, 10. Drop that band, scoop your knees, glue them together. And let's go up and around, opening up chest and shoulder line. Bringing it back to center. To breathe out, up and around. Getting some oil up into our shoulders. Loosening up our neck, our jaws. And come back, enjoy the stretch on this last one and stay there for three and two and one lovely stuff coming back to center. And I want to get a bit deeper into our transverse abdominal strength. All right, keep those bands and belts close by. I want you to take your cushion for me. And we're going to place it in our sacrum area. So basically where the lower back and the bum meet. Have a quick look and see where I'm placing this. Please do not place that cushion in the middle of the back. Can you see how that has just forced my back to arch even more? No, no, no. We just want to offer that sacrum a little bit of a tilt. It should feel quite comfortable. Now, if this is causing a little bit of back pain or strain, remove the cushion at any point. From here, I want you to connect your shoulders to the floor. Open your collarbones. Tighten in your core. Scoop your one knee into your chest. You can scoop your other leg in. And those of you who have a foam roller or foam block at home, you can do the same kind of exercise with that cushion in the same position under sacrum. Or even if you have a small Pilates ball, you can use that to challenge yourself. From here, you're going to breathe out as you trigger your core. Stretch your one leg. Other knee stays in. Inhale, pull back. As you stretch, you want to feel your ribs, your belly, and transverse. Your lower backs are staying flat. They don't move. Breathe out. Inhale, come back. For those of us who feel tension in neck and shoulders, generally watch that there's no compensating. You are keeping those shoulder blades connected into floor. Breathe out. Extend. Inhale, bend. Three more. Exhale, extend. Inhale, back. Feel those TAs. Inhale, two more. Breathe out. Don't be shy to poke and feel that they triggered. Extend. And one more each. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, bend. Breathe out, stretch. Excellent. Knees to chest. Have a look at Set number two, two options for you. For those of you who have tight lower backs or very beginner or want the gentle option, we are going up to the roof, tummy tightens and come down. If you want to challenge yourself, see if you can lower your legs without letting that lower back pull off that cushion. Anchor yourself. Inhale, come down, knees and ankles together. Let's go, breathe out as we lengthen it out. Inhale, come down, beautiful. Breathe out, check ribs, belly transfers. Inhale, bend in. Exhale, extend. 
Inhale, bend in three more. Breathe out to stretch. Inhale, last two. Exhale to stretch. And last one. Can you stay there and hold three? Hold two. Hold one. Yes. And have low core. So please let yourself know that the stronger your chances get, the less and less and less you'll be needing to use your back muscles. Yes, that's the goal. Last core activation before we get you mobile, before we get you stretched. Placing both feet up into your band or belt for support. Anchoring your elbows down on the floor. Keep the knees bent if your back needs that support. And from here, you're going to trigger that core. You're going to lower your legs. And the second you feel that lower back wanting to shift position, stop. Now use your lower abs, those transit muscles, and slowly coming back to that starting position. I don't want anyone feeling strain in the lower back. So even if it's a tiny range, the second that back saying hello, that's where you stop. We are using this TheraBand to assist with the lower back. So you shouldn't be feeling compromised. And for these last four, be strict as you exhale. Think of the rib cage, that belly button, those transverse muscles are triggering. And slowly coming back, not letting that lower spine move. Breathe out. As we do this, we are lengthening those abs, those psoas muscles, those hip flexors. And slowly come back. I want to breathe out as you lower down, ribs, belly, and transverse. Inhale. Exhale to come back. Last one. This is it. And stay in that core position for me for three and two and one. Beautiful work. Take your front leg. Bend it down onto the floor. Rest the shoulders. Everything else is centered and aligned. Let's circle this leg for five. Not letting your opposite knee and hip move four. Lubricating that hip three. Breathing for two. Deep breath for one. Reversing other way. Five. Breathing four. Exhale three. Deep breath for two. Shall we hold in the center? Flex your foot. Stretch your knee. And I'll give you the choice if you want to extend that leg and your back feels fine, go there. And give me five beautiful breaths. Feeling your calf and your hamstring stretch. Every week being able to go a little bit deeper in the stretch. Hamstring flexibility is so important. Lovely. Grab the band with your opposite hand. Anchor your arm to the side as you take your foot across the body and lift your toes up and give me five breaths for your ITB. That's our attic stretch. Four and three. Breathe for two. Deep breath. One. Slowly come back. Slide your band off. Hug that knee into the body. Stretching that leg with a flex foot. And hold for five. Stretching your flexor. Four. Breathe. Three. Deep breath. Two. And one. Sliding leg in. Place your ankle on thigh and give your bum a stretch for option A. Option B, if you can join me in this deeper stretch. We pull our legs into body. Push that outer knee forward. Anchor your sitting bones down. And hold three. Hold two. Holding one. Lovely. And other side. Let's bend the knee. Other foot into your band. Lifting your leg up. Checking your shoulders. And circle around five. And circle four. Circling three. Good. Deep breath for two. 
Breathing for one other way. Let's go five. Breathing now four. Exhale for three. Breathing for two. Ready to stretch it in the middle. Flex your foot, stretch your knee and hold. If you like that leg to extend, go there. And again, really pushing to maximum, taking note always which side's feeling more flexible. Every week, improving in that flexibility. Are we ready for that ITP and sciatic stretch? Taking your leg across, pull your toes up for five. Hold four, hold three, hold two, and one. Come back as you slide your band off, hug your knee to chest, flex that other foot, stretching along and hold. Five, four, three, two, slide that leg in your option A, bum stretch, option B, bum stretch and hold. Five, hold four, holding three, Holding two, excellent, one. From here, open your feet and knees. Draw your knees to shoulders for that flexor stretch. If you feel you can actually move to happy baby, please join me here. And for five breaths, let your shoulders, your back melt into the floor. Another three deep breaths. Another two. Another one, bringing your legs in. Squeeze your knees into your chest for that lower spine release. Drop your feet down. Lift your bum to remove your cushion and join me on your hands and knees and let's check our core and alignment. Remember, if you need that knee cushion, place it underneath you. If you want to fold your mat up, you can also do that. And let's take that moment to find that beautiful alignment. Shoulders down, tilt your pubic bone. And from here, I want you to glide your arm forward without letting your shoulder lift. If you feel you can handle progressing today, glide your opposite leg behind. You can keep the toes on the ground. If you feel you can challenge yourself a little more, lift the toes up and don't let that body weight move. Everything's in the middle. You're not forward over the wrist, back into your hips. Check that your hips are not tilting and your back is staying in that perfect position, not arching. Give me another three. Inhale through nose, exhale through mouth. Another two. Your belly and bum is tight. Another one. Yes, one side done. Let's swap. Starting with your arm, checking your shoulders away from ears. You can progress keeping toes on the ground. If you want the challenge, hover the leg, check your body alignment. Where's the weight placement? And hold. Inhale through nose, exhale through mouth. Whenever we're doing this work, check your bum and your bellies are tight. Good. And you are officially aligned. Let's see that spine as we curl into shoulders, neck and body. Inhale, gently mobilizing through. I'm hoping this back feels limber. It feels wonderful. The core feels connected. And slowly release it out. Last one. Breathe out as we curl. And release, bringing your body into your flat spine. Give me your side tilt as we look to the back. Inhale, center. Exhale, side tilt. Inhale, center. One more each way, side. Inhale, come back. Breathe in outside, bend. Inhale, come back, bring your toes together. Open your knees as you sit your bum. Reach your fingertips forward. And I want you to imagine that I'm gently pressing up and down your spine, giving you that really beautiful shoulder and back stretch. Deep inhale through nose, deep exhale through mouth. 
walking hands to one side if you want a deeper stretch place your back hand on top of that underneath hand other way walk in your hands if you opt for the deeper stretch place that one hand on top of the other Come back to center and take your time, slowly rolling it up one vertebra at a time. And let's get up into those perfect standing postures. Feet and knees at distance, soft knees, tailbones tuck. Light hand on ear for your next stretch. You can flex your hand to make a neural or anchor in hand behind you, whichever you prefer. Automatically check that shoulder, might want to pop and if it has, anchor it down. Good, try relax your tongue and your jaw. Lovely, other way, flex, anchor and stretch, option A or B. Great, bringing hands on the back of your head, chin down to chest and stretch. Drop one arm down, other arm up. Imagine I'm holding your hips as you pull to the side and stretch. Lovely other way. Breathe out as we stretch. And let's see how spine's moving. Tuck in your chin. Bend those knees, zip in your core. Rolling your spine down. I'm always hoping you can reach further that the body feels more mobile. Zip in your core every time you're rolling this body up and down. Let's do last one. Testing those hamstrings as you lower down. We're going to stay in the position. Stretch your legs out. Try to get your nose to knees and give me two deep breaths. Inhale through nose, exhale through mouth. Inhale through nose, exhale through mouth. Bend your knees, zip in your core and take your time slowly rolling it up good and give me your shoulder rolls for four and three feeling that freedom in shoulders two and one other way four and three and two we gently look over to the side for your half circles just three reps side to side and two and deep breath, three, excellent. Bring your head to center, set that neutral spine and give me two breaths to finish off. Deep exhale, inhale, deep breath in to finish and exhale into center and relax. Well done. I hope you are feeling phenomenal, feeling centered, balanced, core activated and endorphins kicking in. I'm so proud of you guys for making this time for yourself to stay moving, to stay grooving, to stay strong. Keep at it guys and lots of love. Take care of yourself. Bye.